Hi, thanks for checking in. I still hate my goddamn voice. This is Nickel, the hero we don't deserve, nor want. Near the end of the 3D row on the periodic table is where he can be found with the atomic number of 28. He has an atomic mass of 58.6934 AMU. Nickel was first discovered in 1751 by Axel Frederick Kronstadt. It was initially named Kupfernickel, which when directly translated means devil's copper, due to its silver-colored nature and, well, valuelessness. It was believed to have reduced the yield of copper ores and was considered undesirable until they made a comeback in the mid-1800s. I guess they really put the, uh, nickel in. <laughs> nickel back. Nickel at room temperature is a silvery white luscious metal with a slight gold tinge. It is hard, malleable, ductile, and can conduct electricity, which are all properties that ultimately contribute to its usefulness. He's a stubborn cookie and doesn't really care about what oxygen has to say about his lazy ass, because he already knows that he's trash. Nickel displays different oxidation states in different compounds due to its electron configuration, and this is true for most of the other transition metals as well. An oxidation state is basically the number of electrons an element gains or loses to other elements in the compound. A negative oxidation state means that the atom has gained electrons, while a positive oxidation state means that the atom has lost electrons. For nickel, these oxidation states are minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, and plus 4. Plus 2 is the most common of these. You know what that sound means? That's right, it's the daily double. And here's the answer. The color of glass when dyed with green nickel 2 oxide. Contestant 1. What is orange? I am sorry, that is not the answer. <laughs> Dumbass. Contestant 2. What is blue? Well, it looks like you're not the only dumbass. <laughs> Contestant 3. Mmm, what is green? That is correct. And now back to you, V. Thank you, sir. Aside from being part of the transition metals, this element is also part of a special group of metals called the Iron Triad, which is composed of the metals Iron, Cobalt, and Nickel. I'll go more in detail in Iron's video, but the most important thing to note is that they are all affected by magnets and can be magnetized themselves. He's a pretty good noodle if you catch him at the right time. And by right time, I mean not cheating, lying, being a social leech, or overall acting like a little demon he is. Because hey, if we didn't have Nickel, we wouldn't have the Earth's core. <laughs> And that's pretty important. The Earth's inner core consists of a solid alloy of super hot nickel and iron that spins faster than the rest of the Earth. Giving the Earth that lovely magnetic shield against deadly solar lasers is also why we have the Aurora Borealis, aka the Northern Lights. Good lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis? Uh, Aurora Borealis! At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. Aside from the Earth's core, nickel and iron do get along in the more casual setting, because they're gay friends. Iron might act pretty tough and look like a sexy beast, but he has never won a fight against oxygen in his life. Luckily, another use of nickel is in stainless steel. Wow, look at them go! They are fusing! Nah, I'm just kidding. What is this stupid uniboob? These alloys and steels are mostly used in electronics, which explains his love of making prank videos and posting them to P-Tube. The metal itself is using catalysts, which forces elements and compounds to kiss. Another thing he likes to do is hang out with his shark daddy and make rechargeable batteries. Basically, Ninkle knows exactly what he wants to do with his life, he's just lazy because school's in the way of his goals. A more relatable phrase has never been said. You can also see that I'm running out of jokes. Now it's time once again for the most anticipated segment. Is nickel lethal? Yes. While it may be essential to plants, in small amounts it already has irritative properties and triggers allergies in some people. Some experiments on animals suggest that the metal can also lead to lung inflammation and general damage to the respiratory system when inhaled. And did you know this? Because because I I didn't know this existed, but but nickel was voted as the allergen of the year in 2008 by the American Contact Dermatitis Society. What? And honor. <laughs> and lastly, 
And here's the kicker. It's a carcinogen, or a cancer-causing substance, which in turn has landed itself a spot on the hazardous substance list in the US, and is actively regulated by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, otherwise known as OSHA. They're basically the guys that can make or break a chemical's presence in the general industry, so you really don't have to worry about Nickel slaughtering your wife and family on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, OSHA. Really tough stuff. I know if I was a chemical, they never let me pass for a million years. But then again, I am OSHA certified. As always, feel free to suggest the next element in the comments below. Also, please like and subscribe to Vanadian Valor if you want to see more stuff like this. There will also be links to my DeviantArt and Tumblr below where I post the rest of my element personifications, so if you want to get ahead of the game, go check them out. Until next time, Slumat Malam nerds! Mwah.